Since the James Webb Space Telescope has now found a real atmosphere on a distant super-Earth for the first time, we may be well on our way to eventually exploring a world similar to our own in the depths of space. But 55 LREE presents researchers with a conundrum. We dream of finding distant worlds that are teeming with rich vegetation and life, just like here on Earth. The James Webb Telescope has made some incredible findings in the pursuit for answers to these issues. The Exo World, which is only 41 light years away from Earth, occasionally appears as a super R and other times as a hellish furnace. With the aid of this groundbreaking technology, scientists are finally able to get a close up look at the Earth like planet 55. Canary E. This exoplanet is a direct neighbor of Earth on a cosmic scale. Since its discovery in 2011, this planet has repeatedly astounded researchers. At first, it seemed to be a hot, rocky planet with the potential for an atmosphere, but then scientists used Webb's special methods of analysis to uncover shocking new data about it. Researchers wanted to finally solve the mystery surrounding this enigmatic planet and they were successful. The results are astounding, and the study leader, Renu Hu, from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, was ecstatic with the James Webb Telescope. We are now entering a whole new realm of research where we can see the planet's surfaces for the first time and know exactly what is happening around the exoplanets. Are you able to visualize a boiling hot 55 degrees Celsius? Super Earth. Most likely not, and that's entirely correct because super-Earths are typically defined as worlds that provide even better living circumstances than our own. Typically, these planets are a little bigger, a little denser, and a little warmer, and their stars have a longer lifespan than our sun. The first two points applied to 55 Cry E. For a long time, we knew the planet's size, orbit, and approximate density but we lacked hard data on its atmosphere, and even its temperatures were only estimates. This is the first time in astronomy, history, that we have been able to study planets outside of our solar system with such accuracy and detail. Webb spectrometers are able to detect gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and other volatile compounds in addition to water in a planet's surroundings. We are more confident that we have discovered a true super-Earth if the analysis data of the planet's environment closely resembles the values of our own. With a diameter about twice that of Earth and a higher density, 55 Cariae is one of five known Earth-like planets that orbit the Sun-like star. Previously, it was categorized as a super-Earth. However, subsequent research on the planet produced oddly contradicting results, such as researchers have repeatedly taken on this strange world, and specialists from the University of New Mexico have now studied 55 Crei E intensively for more than 10 years. The scientists described it as downright frustrating that none of the observations had so far produced clear results. The Spitzer Space Telescope studies revealed that the planet orbits its star so closely that its surface is probably less rocky and more malt. Additionally, the planet's orbit is likely bound with a day side and a night side. The new telescope ought to finally illuminate the shadows and unveil this planet's mysteries. Is it feasible for a planet to have two atmospheres? 55. Canary E has two atmospheres. Indeed, 55 KRE had an atmosphere at one point, but its star blew it away. This is so improbable that the malleable planet just developed a new atmosphere. This exoplanet performed a miracle and simply replaced the original atmosphere of hydrogen and helium with a new one. This secondary atmosphere was formed in a fantastic way by outgassing from the rocky interior of the planet. It was likely the high temperature at 55 cry E that caused a new atmosphere to form, but the new atmosphere is quite different and consists mainly of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. The spectrum analysis surprised scientists because they had never had such detailed and extensive data on this planet before using the most recent data. The most precise spectrometer analysis on the web, how can the JWST identify such details? Do you wonder? The telescope can measure minute changes in the system's light as the planet orbits the star, 
But Webb was never able to take a direct image of the small planet, 55 Cry. The data from the MIRI instrument shows that the brightness of the 55 Cry system decreases as the rocky planet moves behind its star. Scientists call this phenomenon a secondary eclipse. The images of the analysis diagram show a secondary eclipse light curve. During a secondary eclipse, the light emitted or reflected by the planet is obscured, allowing only the light from the star to be measured. By comparing the brightness before and during the eclipse, we can isolate and analyze the amount of light coming from the planet. The data clearly shows a decrease in brightness due to the planet's emissions, and an analysis of these emissions showed that the dayside temperature is roughly 1,540 degrees Celsius, which is far lower than anticipated and suggests a volatile, rich atmosphere that distributes energy from the day side to the night side, absolutely crazy life on 55 Cry E. It sounds crazy, but previous data from NASA's now defunct Spitzer Space Telescope repeatedly indicated the presence of an atmosphere. With signs of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, these could be biomarkers and evidence of life. But how can it be that a planet with such extreme surface temperatures shows traces of biomarkers in its atmosphere? Planetary researcher Hugh explained. In his article in the journal Nature that 55 Conry E even showed signatures of metallic substances and elements such as silicon, iron, aluminum, and calcium. However, the temperatures are so high that scientists suspect that the source of these traces could be a thin veil of vaporized rock. This raises the exciting question of whether this planet was once cooler and new. Biological processes we know from our own solar system that planets have swapped positions within the system over the course. Of millions of years, it's possible that the rocky world 55 Cree E was once in a habitable zone and only later moved into an orbit that brought it closer to its star and the devastating temperatures our Mercury is also being pushed further and further towards the Sun by Jupiter, and some researchers assume that Mercury was once in an orbit further away from the Sun. Then it could be that there was once life on 55 Cree E, the exoplanet appears more and more like a world of stark contrasts, and a world that has undergone violent changes. This is shown not only by the bound orbit, but above all, by the contradictory measurement results from the various telescopes. The first indication of a considerable atmosphere came from temperature. Measurements based on the thermal emissions of this world, if the exoplanet is really covered by dark molten rock and a thin veil of vaporized rock, the day side should be about 2200 to hot webs mui data. However, showed a temperature of only 1, 540 degree C. This may be due to the fact that the energy is well distributed by thermal processes between the cool night side and the hot day side. Lava flows transfer heat to the night side where it is circulated and cooled. Nevertheless, simulations showed that this effect alone is not sufficient to explain the much lower temperature when the research team examined further data from webs near CAM patterns of a volatile but rich atmosphere were again revealed. This does not fit with a planet. Made of vaporized rock, the team led by planetary scientist Hugh has come to the conclusion that 55 Canary E has some special feature that must have something to do with the escape of gases from its interior thanks to Webb. Although research on this fascinating planet has advanced significantly, there are still many unanswered questions. Are you captivated by the groundbreaking discoveries made about 55 Cry E? Or are you among those who would be even more appreciative if we could eventually establish the existence of actual extraterrestrial life in space, even if we haven't been able to provide conclusive evidence yet? In addition to providing us with previously unheard of range and sharpness, the James Webb Space Telescope has allowed us to examine exoplanets up close for the first time. While some of these planets are enormous, they are still small objects in relation to the size of the entire universe for a long time. We currently know of over 5,000 exoplanets, which is a lot for our research but not even a handful when compared to the total number of planets, so finding them was like trying to find a needle in an almost endless haystack. Although the precise number of Earth-like planets is always shifting, 
there are now a few dozen contenders that meet the requirements to be. The purpose of Earth to Web is to identify planets that are truly Earth-like and those that are not. Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star nearest to us and is only four light years away, is frequently referred to as the most Earth-like planet since it is located in the habitable zone, which provides favorable circumstances for liquid water. Following the star Proxima Centauri's powerful flares directed at its planet, our expectations of discovering life there diminished. As a result, we began looking at other significant contenders, like Kepler 452b and Trappist 1e. Although Webb was able to verify that the Trappist system has Earth-like planets, there are currently insufficient individual analyses. There are most likely seven planets around the star Trappist 1, five of which resemble Earth. The most Earth-like planet ever found in space is Kepler 452b, which is about six billion years old and marginally bigger than our own planet. As of right, now, we don't know anything about its atmosphere or any indications of biomarkers in the environment. We'll have to wait until the JWST thoroughly examines this world. Click subscribe now to watch many more fascinating videos.